Hi and hello dear friends. Welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams. This session we have an interesting question from the concept of numbers and let's directly get into the question. Find the last two digits of the given expression. So we are asked to find the last two digits of the expression. So of course we have a very lengthy expression given here. So we have a product and uh, which is uh, raised to whole square. Okay, raised to the power 2. So this is going to be a question. So for which we need to find the last two places. Of course the, the question appears to be too easy. But it involves some good approach. And also it involves some kind of lengthy workout. With which we have to get the answer. So let us now see the approach. What we need to handle to get the answer. Okay. First of all, let us just note down the given expression here. So the expression we have here with us is 201. Okay, 201 into 202 into 203 into 204. So these are going to be the first four numbers. And we have other four numbers also continuing the product. We have 246, 247, 248, 249. So this is going to be the product. And here we have got a total of 8 numbers and this product to the whole square. So this is what we have the expression we are given in the question. And for which we have to find the last two digits. This is going to be the question. Now carefully if you just think of, we are worried only with the last two digits. Only about the last two digits. So in that case, it is better to eliminate the other digit except the last two digits. So wherever we have these numbers, out of all these numbers, we will just eliminate, we will just remove the other digit, okay, which we are not concerned about, okay. So in that case, we will take only the last two places alone, that is sufficient for us to get the answer. So in that case, we can reduce the same expression to, to just listen, how I can rewrite it is, just take out of this 201, just take the 01 alone. Because we need the last two places only, right? So in that case, we can reduce this entire expression in a similar way. What we can do here is, I can rewrite it as 01 into 02 into 03 into 04 multiplied with 46 into 47 into 48 into 49, the whole square. I hope you are able to understand what I am doing here. Since we are asked to find only the last two places, it is enough to play with the last two digits. That's it, okay? Our answer won't get affected. We will be still getting the same correct answer. That is the reason. So, we'll now try to find the last two digits of this expression. Equivalently, that will be the answer for the given question also. Okay, all right, yes. Now, again, coming back, we are again having the same eight numbers, but only with the last two places. Let's do something here, okay? Let's do something. Let's segregate. Let's group the terms, okay? So if you see here, we have got the first four numbers, first four terms, okay? So here we have 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 04. Now I think this case, it would be very easy for us to get the last two places, right? Since our numbers are too easy, we can directly multiply these numbers because we have only small numbers here, right? So it is like 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. So what about this product? It will give you... 3 4s are 12, 12 2s are 24 and 24 1s are is 24. So that means this will simply give you 24. Okay. So the first four numbers when grouped, that is giving you the product 24. And of course that becomes the last two digit itself. Okay. For this group, the last two digit is going to be 24 only. So no issues with that. So 24 here multiplied by multiplied by now comes the challenge, okay. Now we have, we have the other four numbers here. 46, 47, 48, 49. So those numbers are to be multiplied for which we need to find the last two places. That is going to be a quite big challenge. So let's do that carefully, okay. Now what I will do here is, let me just make a small space here. So that uh, the answer what I get for this one, I will note it here, okay. Fine, yes. Let's try to work this calculation separately, okay. Alright, yes. So let me rewrite those numbers 46, 47, 48 and 49. Okay, fine, yes. So now we need to find the last two places for this product. That is going to be the challenge. Alright, yes. 
Now, if you see these numbers, we can rewrite them as we can rewrite them as see these numbers. They are much closer to the round number fifty, right? Yes, they are much closer to fifty, right? So, in that case, what I will I will try to do here is let me rewrite these numbers something like this. Okay, just just look at it carefully. So, this forty six I'm going to write as fifty minus four. Next, this one forty six. This forty six is written like this for fifty minus four. This forty seven. I am rewriting it as 50 minus 3. Next, this is 50 minus 2, and this is 50 minus 1. Okay, fine. Yes, maybe it, it looks in a cool way. That is the reason I am rewriting like this. Okay. Now, now continue this. So now, if you see, we have rewritten these numbers like this. Now, if you play with this expression, it would be more easy for us to find the last two places. That is the reason. Okay. All right. Yes. Now we have got four terms here. Again, let me group the terms. I will take the first two terms. And next, the last two terms. I will take it like this. Now, when you try to multiply the first two terms, what happens? Can you just see here? This will simply become. This is like a two numbers. I mean, like a there are like two factors of a quadratic expression. Is it or not? So, 50 minus 4 into 50 minus 3. This will simply give you 50 square minus 50 into what about 4 plus 3, which will be 7 minus. I'm sorry, it will be plus because minus 4 into minus 3 will be 12. I hope you understand this. Okay, there are two. Uh, like two factors, they get multiplied, which is what I have expressed here. So it is like x square, 50 square minus x into the sum of the. Uh, it is like there, the, the, those two numbers are like the roots. Okay, four plus three, which is what is this seven, and minus four into minus three, which is giving you this plus twelve. Okay, repeat the same process for the next two terms also. Here, what we get is here again. If you carry the same process, you here 50 minus two into 50 minus one. Here you will be getting. 50 square minus 50 times of uh, this will be 2 plus 1, which will be 3 plus plus 2 ones are 2. So this is what you will be getting here. So continue this process. Continue this process. Again, what I can do here is again we will just worry about only the last two places, right? Okay. So in that case, we can eliminate this 50 square and 50 square. Anyways, 50 square is going to be 2500. The two thousand five hundred last two places it is going to be again double zero, is it or not? So that will not uh, make our uh, a problem to be. A, I mean, like it won't give you any change there. For that reason, we'll just eliminate that. We'll worry about only the expressions where the last two digits involve make the change, make an impact. That's it. Okay. So now when you come here, we have fifty into seven plus twelve minus fifty into seven plus twelve minus fifty into three plus two. This is all we have here. So in this case, we'll carefully work it out. Again, I can make a quadratic thing. Okay. So if I want to be more precise, what I will do here is I will just try to uh, do it something like this. Let me try to do it like uh, uh, here. We have uh, like uh, like we can even play it like this, right? Because minus fifty into seven will be like uh, minus three fifty, right? So it is like again minus fifty plus twelve. And again, continue here. Minus fifty into three will be like minus one fifty. It is like again minus fifty. Plus two. Okay, let me make it clear so that uh, it won't confuse you much. Let me just uh, uh, repeat the process what I have uh, tried to do here. Here it is minus fifty into seven. Is it or not? So minus fifty into seven will be minus three hundred and fifty. Again, from that minus three hundred and fifty, I am removing that three, that three hundred. Okay, why? Because I am I am very much care. I am just caring about only the last two places. For that reason, is what from that minus three fifty, I am removing that three uh, hundred. Taking only this minus fifty, okay. Same thing I'm doing here. From this minus fifty into three, which is going to be minus hundred and fifty, I'm worried only about the last two places, which is what is this minus fifty? Simple, okay. Now again continue. Again continue. We have again a quadratic form. So now when you again multiply this, you will be getting minus fifty square minus fifty into. You will again get it to be what? This is twelve plus two, which is fourteen. And next is twelve plus sorry twelve two zero which is going to be twenty four okay so again I can eliminate this one anyways this is going to give you double zero so we can eliminate it and here you have a minus fifty times of fourteen what is minus fifty times of fourteen it is going to be minus seven hundred right so this is going to be minus seven hundred and again it is not going to worry you much plus twenty four so finally what you get here is Again, you will get the last two places to be simply twenty-four. Why? Because you see here, this is exactly seven hundred. Seven hundred in the sense, last two places is going to be double zero only. So in the case, it is not going to affect your calculation. So you are simply left with twenty-four here. So that means this product, I mean the product of these four numbers, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, is going to end up with 
the two digits again 24 so just take this 24 put it over here so here we have the first four numbers product is giving you the last two places to be 24 we have taken it and again after all these calculations the last two places of this product this is again giving you the same 24 we have noted it so our question now simply becomes 24 into 24 the whole square okay now we are worried only about the last two places of this simple calculation this won't be much complicated for us so here after we can carry out and easily finish off the problem so 24 into 24 the whole square this is what we have right so basically what is 24 into 24 24 square it is going to be what 24 square is going to be 576 right so 24 into 24 is going to be 576 and of course this will give you okay maybe if you want i will separately note it down 24 square is going to be 576 and again since we are worried about only the last two places it is enough to consider only this last two places which is 76 so 76 square that will what comes uh, that will only come here so 76 square and final stage last one more step we need to do just again calculate what is 76 square. 76 square is going to be what? So 76 square if you want to calculate what I can do here is. Or again you can even rewrite this 76 square as something else. Or if at all you don't want to complicate the process you can simply calculate what is 76 square. So 76 square is going to be like uh, um, 76 minus 24 which will be 52 and then uh, it is going to be square 576, 576. So the answer is going to be 5776. So 5776 is going to be the answer. And of course, again, we are worried about only the last two places, which is going to be 76. So this 76 square is going to end up with the two digits, which is again 76. That's it. Okay. So that means these many steps we need to undergo, I mean, uh, perform in order to get the answer. Okay. And of course, this is not the only way to solve the problem. Of course, there are many other approaches. There are little bit advanced approaches also. If you are much clear with algebra's basic concepts and more and more formulas, of course, I assure you can finish off this problem in a more easier way. I will, I will uh, tell that. So it is not that this is the only way to solve the problem. This is just one such approach in order to solve this problem to get the answer. And of course, that is what we are carrying out and getting the answer. So your final answer is going to be 76 is going to be the answer. And yeah, our answer 76 is available at option D. Option D 76 is going to be the answer for this interesting question. I hope you enjoyed this question. And also, I hope you are able to understand the procedure, what we carried out here. And if at all you get any doubts here, you are most welcome to comment in the comment box. And when I see it, I'll see to rectify your doubts. Okay. And if you feel this session to be useful, please give a like. And as usual, if you feel this would help any of your friends, please do forward. Please do share this video to your friends also. Again, we'll catch up in the next video with some other interesting questions. See you soon there. Thank you so much.